Assalamualaikum and hello everyone So welcome back to the second video of the day um, Which we're going to continue uh, our lesson in 1.1 Atoms and Molecule But in this video what we're going to look at is actually for the B, C and D uh, Learning outcome B, C and D Which is we're going to interpret mass spectrum Calculate the average atomic mass and then calculate the relative atomic mass based on carbon-12. So on your notes, let's look on page 2. Okay, so this is actually a mass spectrometer. Uh, the equipment itself is called mass spectrometer. And this experiment um, is called mass spectrometry method. So um, what is actually the method itself? Ataupun why we're going to learn this is that the mass spectrometer is used to determine the relative atomic mass ataupun relative molecular mass of a compound so for example from your list of constant we know that this is actually the relative atomic mass of an element but then how do we um how do we get to this ha? macam mana how does the scientist give us this value ha? the specific value is actually based on this mass spectrometry method okay Okay, and besides that, it is used to determine the types of isotope, the abundance and its relative isotopic mass. So, abundance tu, um, bahasa Melayu dia senang kata berapa banyak dia ada lah. Abundance tu maknanya kita kata banyak. Uh, berapa banyak dia ada sebenarnya. Okay, so that is actually for the mass spectrometry method. So, this is actually one of the example um, of the result. So, here... Uh, on your y-axis, it's actually relative abundance. How many uh, percentage um, if you compare between 3 or 4 samples, ni ada berapa banyak. And your y-axis or your x-axis is your isotopic mass. Ataupun dia simbol dia M stroke E. Okay, A, M, U ni stands for atomic mass unit. Okay. So, relative abundance ni, we don't have any symbol. But then, uh, for the isotomic mass, dia punya symbol ataupun dia punya unit, sorry, is actually AMU. AMU ataupun dot channel. A dot M dot U. Okay, so, kat sini dia kata dia adalah the mass spectrum of magnesium. So, sebenarnya, it's actually, what we have here is actually our, we have magnesium 24, magnesium 25, magnesium uh, 26 okay so this is our atomic symbol uh, this is actually our nucleon number uh, mass uh, apa ni atomic mass ataupun nucleon number is the same thing uh. so that's why I'm going to put it on the uh, upper left hand side okay so contohnya kita tengok how does it work so dekat sini this is actually magnesium 24 so magnesium 24 um, if you compare it to the 25 and 26 abundance dia paling tinggi ada 63 Okay, so sebab tu lah dia punya tu tinggi sikit ha. So sini macam contohnya 63, sini 50, sini 40 etc So magnesium 25 dah ada 8.1 And magnesium 26 we got 9.1 Okay but then from this how do we get our uh, relative atomic mass of an element ni Okay sebab bila kita go through mass spectrum Kita dapat this answer, uh, we got this result but then, bila kita tengok list of constant, our magnesium here, dia adalah 24.3. So, how do we get there? It's actually based on uh, calculation that we're going to learn next. Okay, so let's look. Uh, next page. So, here, uh, dia adalah calculation of relative atomic mass. So, there's actually two steps to it. Okay, step one adalah to determine the average atomic mass. Okay, so average atomic mass, this is the formula. Sum of chemi over chi. Q ni, Q ni stands for our abundance ha. Abundance kita, berapa banyak kita ada ni Okay, mi ni is actually our isotopic mass ha, Mass kat bawah ni So, isotopic mass yang nucleon mass kita tu ha, Sometimes dia bagi nucleon number So, that is the isotopic mass um, Relative isotopic mass Ataupun just gonna write down here ha. Ni pun yang kita punya nucleon number lah Nucleon lah, where we're gonna add our proton and neutron Okay I stands for individual Okay, individual lah lah Okay, and divide by sum of key Okay, so for example, ni adalah abundance For example, if the unit is actually percentage Percentage divide by percentage, we're gonna cancel out the unit Okay, so But then, here, our mass here Dia tidak divide by mass sendiri So Dekat sini, what happens is that when you calculate the average atomic mass, uh, the last answer, you will get a unit which is called AMU, atomic mass unit. Uh, so, how we're going to write down dot dot sahaja pun, it's fine. Okay, so, but then this is only the average atomic mass. 
Soalan um, What uh, Selalu suruh kita cari Okay It's actually Relative atomic mass So this is only the first step um, Relative um, And then Relative atomic mass Senang nak ingat Relative it means that It has No Unit Maksudnya tidak ada unit lah Okay so how we gonna cancel out This unit of AMU hmm. Dia bukan the first step Maksudnya terus There's no unit We have to do the second step We're gonna compare The average atomic mass To one of the of carbon 12 So for example The relative atomic mass Kita boleh denotekan dia sebagai AR uh, And then Okay unit adalah AMU Divide by 1 over 12 Times mass of one atom of 12 carbon So sebenarnya ni cancel out Cancel out AMU AMU cancel out So that's why for the relative atomic mass um, It has no unit Okay so itu hanya explanation How we're going to do the calculation Okay first one let's look here So kita kena tahu Kita tahu average atomic mass adalah Sum kimi divided by sum of key Okay so sebenarnya This value yang y axis ni Value of y axis is actually our abundance. So this is our abundance, and then this is actually our m. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is actually means not simply if I'm gonna specific again. Okay. So when my m when my m is twenty four, so I'm just gonna label it m one, m one. When m is twenty four, my q is actually sixty three. Okay. So, sebab tu, mesti buat yang 1 Okay, and the second one When the mass is 25 uh, M2, 25 Q2 kita ni Is actually, berapa? 8.1 And when our mass Isotopic mass is 26 Q3 kita adalah 9.1 So, it's up to you whether you want to write it down or not Here, I'm just going to make it uh, Apa ni? I just make it to be more um, obvious to you. Ha. So, what is M? What is Q? So, sekarang ni, so we have um, open it, extract the information. So, how do you do the calculation? So, for the average atomic mass, so I'm just going to write down. So, yang ini, misalkan cepatkan sikit lah. Okay, so for the average atomic mass, okay, the punya formula adalah sum kimi over sum of key okay so how i'm gonna write it down calculation okay remember q1 mesti darab dengan uh, q1 mesti dengan m1 q2 dengan m2 okay q is our abundance m is our atom, uh, atomic mass uh, so tak kisah semua nak yang calculate ni macam ni so kata sebab key dulu kan i'm just gonna use key dulu lah okay so key yang pertama adalah 63 m yang pertama adalah 24 Pluskan dengan uh, key pertama 8.1 dan pertama 25 plus key yang per, uh, the third one 9.1 M dia 26. Okay so this is uh, ini maksud the sum of key ni. So kali ni we have 3 1 2 3. Kalau ada 4 kita buat lagi lah plus somewhere else. 5 we're gonna write down. Okay so that's the um, the sum of key divide by key, uh, sum of key ni. Right now, we're going to uh, look at sum of key pula. Uh, divide by key. Bukan me eh. Make sure. Sebab tu lah what I would like to, I would like you to do is label it. So, key kita is actually this one. 63, 8.1, 9.1. So, I'm just going to pluskan uh, 63 plus 8.1 plus 9.1. Okay, so this is actually our average atomic mass. Okay, so yang ni macam tak adil tapi tak apa. So, average atomic mass. Okay, so, my average atomic mass. So, when I calculate it. So, gunalah calculator. Uh, tekan sendiri. So, the answer will, you will get 24.3279. Okay, is that the answer? Not yet. Remember, so, um, kena ada unit. For this one, we have unit which is AMU. So, kat sini kita buat E, M, U. Okay, and then for the calculation, yang ni I'm just going to remind you again and again. For calculation, uh, selagi it's not final answer, what I would like you to do is take four decimal places lah. So, maknanya 24, uh, ni kan ada 1, 2, 3, 4. 
Boleh saja ambil dua Tapi nanti um, Jawapan final tu tak dapat lah Sama dengan uh, The one I provided to you ha. So What I would like you to do So uh, It's more safe Awal tu Take four decimal places The final answer nanti Barulah kita Round off to two decimal places Okay So that is only Our average atomic mass So Relative atomic mass Macam mana pula So we're going to do Our second Step. Ha, tapi yang ini dah ada bagi simbol ni kan So I'm just going to use it Macam tu sahaja E R So kita guna Ni relatif R ni relatif E ni atomic mass okay. So uh, for the relative atomic mass How we going to do it So kita tengok dekat sini uh, Average mass dia Which is we are going to find for here 24.3 279 Nak tulis unit boleh tak nak tulis pun tak apa ha, Tapi selamatnya buat je lah kan Am dulu divide by Okay 1 over 12 that um, Times mass of 1 atom of 12 carbon Ataupun ha, Yang tu nampak macam A bit uh, harder to write down So kita tulis 1 over 12 Times 12 carbon DNA So it's actually up to you nak tulis am you ni ke tak nak pun tak apa Okay, so what happened is that we're going to cancel out this one with this one we're going to cancel out. So we know that our at relative atomic mass, the final answer we will get 24.33. So any the last answer baru ni is uh, make it as a two decimal places. So that is for example number one. So for example number two, okay. So remember, um, sometimes it does not give it to you. Kita tak bagi tahu dia dalam isotopic mass. So dalam case ni, dia tengok relative abundance. So we know that it, this is our Q. So M kita yang mana? Our M is this one. Ha. So this is actually our M. Tulis macam mana? Oh, oh tebal pula. Uh, okay, this is our M. M. Ha. So M. 1, a little m1, m2, m3. So, that is for example 1. Um, I have tried yourself. Um, I have shown it to you. Example 2, you should try yourself. Okay, example 2. Okay, I believe you could try yourself example 3B. Tapi 3A je ni tak pernah fikir. 3A. What is the percentage abundance of each isotope? Okay, so dekat sini kita tengok. We have 85 rubidium. Dengan... 87 rubidium. Remember, relative abundance, this is actually our Q. Okay, so uh, this one is actually our M. Okay, so the bila dia kata percentage of abundance, percentage is, is actually percent. Okay, so tadi information yang kita ada from here, I'm just going to write it down kat sini lah. M1 M1 85 K1 um, relative abundance dia tadi 18 Okay M2 Dia berapa tadi? 87 Q2 Is actually 7 Okay so percentage abundance Percentage abundance ni kita nak tahu abundance dia Bukan belum lagi relative atomic mass So abundance ni 80 So bila dia kata percentage abundance tu Nak times 100 So I'm going to write down Okay Pulih pula Ok so sekarang ni 85 For the case of 85 rubidium So macam mana nak cari percentage abundance So Miss tahu for 85 rubidium Dia adalah 18 abundance dia Tapi total abundance for both ni adalah 18 plus 7 So 18 plus 7 Times kan sebab dia nak percentage So times 100 so, you will get your answer is 72%. So, the same goes untuk 87 rubidium. So, tapi sekarang ni the abundance of our 87 rubidium dia adalah 7. Divide by 18 plus 7 times dengan 100. So, we get 28%. So, this is actually our Q. So, yang ini je lah yang lain sikit. Dia sebab the percentage abundance kita nak times 100. So, kita kena... Um, the value itself divide by the total times 100. So, the cal to calculate the relative atomic mass, and remember, sum of key ni over sum of key. Q ni is up to you. Q ni, kalau kamu nak guna um, 
18 dengan 7 boleh ataupun nak guna 72.28 pun boleh. So when you try yourself, kamu akan dapat dua jawapan yang sama. Ha, tapi make sure lah, 18 ni kenalah yang cabut yang Q the 7 ni. Apa ni? 18 ni yang 7 lah. Janganlah satu tu. Kalau 85, you're going to use a bundle to 18. Satu tu kamu guna bundle to 28. Kita kena partnerkan dia yang ni, yang ni lah. Okay, so that's it for example on page 